I have these unrealistic associations with studying, where you see me walking in a picturesque British small town where the university is insanely beautiful. Imagine a combination between Hogwarts and Cambridge, and every night I get enlightened by the books that I read. How they inspire me with every word I suck in, while the candle provides the light. But that's my melancholic fantasy. This is real life. Science Park. Although Science Park doesn't have the Harry Potter factor or candles to help you providing light, it does have its own flavor. I mean, look at it. Out of nowhere, this huge building pops up. Enter it, and you feel the science entering your body. You walk past open labs. Labs that you can't enter because there are super dangerous lasers inside. Even just labs in general. This is where I study. An even more randomly popped up building, which should be proud of its eye catching orange color. High school didn't bother me that much, but during my gap year, I realized that I wasn't getting the most out of myself and it decided to attack my faith. I applied for Amsterdam University College. The motto of Amsterdam University College is excellence and diversity. Hmm, excellency. I want to be excellent. Against my expectations, the school accepted me. And now I'm here on my quest to be something called excellent. Their names are excellent in diversity and I thought it was, that was great, a good sense of humor. It symbolizes um, the complementarity, they live together in, a, in an aquarium. So that's the similarity with our philosophy. The dissimilarity is the fish are not free. Our students are free. I do have my doubts whether or not we are free. At least five of the seven days in a week we are in Science Park. Because besides studying there, we also live there. What we do with our lives is of course entirely free. But since everyone is rather ambitious, a certain social threshold is being created. Luckily, I like my self-chosen little takeaway of freedom until now. Because living in Science Park is fun. I live together with at least 900 other students. And since it is an international college, they come from everywhere. Um, I'm Tim. Uh, Tim Alfred. I'm uh, 20 years old. I'm uh, originally from Amsterdam. I feel that the fact that it's not based specifically on like like I said, does like one study for anything, one um, yeah association to pursue for everyone, but the fact that there's a lot of different things to do, uh, I think that adds a lot, uh, and I think that's also the, the the reason I think I chose to stay here. Uh, do you like the dorm life? Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's um, sometimes it's very fun. Sometimes it's very lonely. When you're sitting alone in your room, you watch out of the window, and you see all the lights on. <laughs> yeah. Except for yours, but it's uh, generally it's very good. It's funny to see all these people studying in their rooms. Some people prefer their curtains constantly closed. Perhaps to escape the feeling of being watched all the time. Sometimes when I'm studying, I think, why would I put in this effort? How am I seeing an A back in my daily life? Why would I try to be something called excellent? Um, I think, though, some of the ambition levels are, are overdone. Right? It's, it, it, it is not necessary to be compared to others all the time. It's interesting to think about where the pressure really comes from. Um, is it the school that's doing it, or is it yourself, or um, your fellow students, or is it you know comparing yourself to others all the time that drives you crazy? Um, oh, I hadn't been here very long, and somebody said, you know, no wonder they built the dorms that way. You know, we're watching each other all the time, it's sort of <laughs> which is an interesting way of putting it, I suppose. Um, and there's a danger in that itself. Uh, to me, it puts a responsi heavy responsibility on the way we teach, right? My answer would be, well, then make this um, part of how you teach. When you hand out a stack of grades, make sure you explain what they mean. 
or why it's important to get high grades or why it's perhaps not all that important. There is no obligation to get just straight A's here, um, but the minimum bar is higher than physicians go to here. And students are free, free to choose their profile in terms of do I want to get a GPA of 3.5 because it offers me more opportunities or do I want to go even higher? For some, um, for some it may be a choice, for others it may be something totally obvious or something they don't want to think about all the time. They are free to choose in that respect. Not so long ago, the excellence list was sent to all the students attending AUC. The excellence list contains all the names of the students having an average higher than a 3.5. The ones with a 3.9 or higher have their own section. Hell broke loose on Facebook. Proponents of the list. Opponents of the list. Everyone joined in the fight. Hey you! You know that sending such kind of list only creates stress, right? No. Fuck you. It stimulates the students. Yes! They send the list everywhere in the world. It's normal. Hmm. Where's the humanity in this list? I don't know. This list. This list is way too much. I cannot handle it. We're always um, like striving for the, the high grades for mm -hmm. the A's. Yeah. Um... I don't know. I wasn't really, like, high school was kind of easy in a way, so, like, I was kind of, I was happy with a six, but then again, like, if I knew I could have gotten an eight, I wasn't no. really happy. So it's not like I just went for the six, but I was just like, well, I just do my work and then I'll get to somewhere around a seven, and that's okay. I'm not sure if it's, like, the true competitiveness, but I do feel like there is a lot of people out here that are just real perfectionists and they just really want only A's on their report and that's that can be stressful for others because I really felt like until somewhere last year I really felt like um, A's were the only grades that were acceptable and if I got a B I was like oh shit uh, this is not good We, we are re rewarding certain behaviors, right? Mm -hmm. You know, if, if people get high grades, etc., that means we're happy and, you know, we, they don't need too much attention, so that's fine, okay? Mm -hmm. And I think, yeah, but that's also wasting our, our, our resources, okay? I, th I think, um, so high intelligence and being able to study well and so on, but they're also resources you need to, to learn to use and to put into perspective. Just performing to the requirements is as such a very empty thing. What is then if we have a community of highly of high achievers who enjoy studying, who are good at it, who are creative, and energetic and all that, then what can be our contribution to the rest of the world should be a question that's on the table all the time. Noblesse oblige. That's how I see it. There are much more things that come into play when you're talking about an excellent student. Because I personally think the fact that anyone would choose to have more workload over a normal yeah, study should receive, receive praise in, in its own. I'm not saying everyone, everyone here is excellent, you know, that's it's kind of that idea. But then I'm thinking, if there is so, if there is su they're having such a hard time with pinpointing what is excellent, it may be an idea to like completely get rid of the list. Yeah, get rid of the list completely and, and, and introduce that idea of honorary students, like students that do a lot for the community or are specifically very good in their field of work and that they, they receive some praise of their own. But right now it's so black and white, which I also feel goes a bit against that entire, all the things you learn at AUC, which is that there are so many cultures, not everything is black and white. And then they do choose to have such a threshold when it comes to, to, to grades. I think that's very funny.
Whether or not I'll ever be on the excellence list is unsure. After all, my goal is to be excellent. But will putting me on the list make me that? Probably not, but what will either? Perhaps it's smart for me to start focusing on actual school, instead of making films about my school. At least then there is a chance that my school thinks I'm excellent.